Hi and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to be talking about a new mode that's coming in the next patch of Velostrone and it's called uh, Handicap 3 Lap Racing and the purpose of this mode is that it allows players of mixed ability to be able to race each other and have an exciting race. So you could have a pilot who's a complete beginner, you could have someone who's of medium ability and you could have one of the top VRL pilots all in a room together, all racing and all of them feeling like they're in a tough race and they're going to have to work in order to win that race. And that's why it's called handicap mode because what it does is it applies a handicap to the faster racers to bring them into a equal well to bring them onto an equal footing I guess is the best way of putting it or to equalize the race so that everyone is in a race where anyone could win it so that's the the purpose of this um, if I just uh, start this well I'll just show you the way this is set up at the moment so I've just got two players in this room so I'm the race manager and Ash one is in the room as well and we're on a new track um, and for the purposes of explaining how this works I've just got two pylons in here that makes up this whole track and it will be th a three lap race because handicap mode is always a three lap race it will be a three lap race on this simple two gate track uh, and I'm going to show you what happens as you play in handicap mode uh, and what the sim does in order to equalize the players as you're playing in handicap mode. So we're going to start a race and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my quad, the one that you can see flying um, in this video, be the slower person, uh, sorry, be the faster person. So you'll see the handicap gets applied to my screen whereas it won't get applied to the other player in the room. So we're going to start a race and there's no times on the leaderboard for this particular track. So this is starting from a completely fresh slate. Now it's worth mentioning that if you're on a track where there is already a leaderboard, then handicap mode will actually go out to the leaderboard to find out how it should be applying the handicap for the races in the room. So if, the, if you've got a time on the leaderboard, then it's going to use that as your initial handicap in comparison to other players in the room. If you haven't got a time on the leaderboard and other players have then some players will get no handicap applied yet but those who are on the leaderboard will have handicaps applied and so on but it works it all out basically and the more you fly then the more it's going to tune in your racing performance to try and give everyone a fair shot at winning the race. Okay, so uh, we're just going to start the race here and for this particular quad that you're watching on the screen here, this quad is going to, I'm just going to fly this one through the start gate just so that it's in the race. Whoops, knocked my mic there. And I'm just going to fly the other quad as well and you'll see it just come past on the screen here in a sec. There we go. Just, just so that both quads are actually in the race. So it's actually tracking them for uh, applying handicaps. Now I'm going to fly the first quad around now Position and one. just set a time. Position one. And we'll try and set this at 40 seconds. Position one. I'm placing our 40 seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to fly the other quad around. It will be the slower player because I've been sat on the ground the whole time and we'll aim to get these around at a, a speed where we can do the maths fairly easily so let's see I'm probably going to be able to hit 70 seconds here for this 56, 57, 58, yeah, close enough okay so if I just get the leaderboard up here what you'll see is that one of us flew at 39 seconds one of us flew at one minute nine 
So there's 30 seconds effectively difference between these two pilots. So it knows that Ash is 30 seconds quicker at this point than Ash 1. So if I run the race again now, it's going to, it's basically what it does is it updates an internal leaderboard that it holds for all the pilots who are racing to apply handicaps to them to try and bring those pilots into line. So what we should see now is that my pilot that I'm flying that you can see on the screen here is going to be delayed on the start grid by 30 seconds at the start of the race because it knows I'm 30 seconds faster than the other pilot. And there you go, you see it's doing a countdown now, holding me on the start grid. But the other pilot, as you can see, can take off and fly and is not being held to that 30 second delay. So I can spin around here and start setting a time. And I don't want to be too quick here, so let's just hang around a little bit. So I'm going to fly a race at about 40 seconds here. Let's try and make this about 40. Like so. Uh, slightly over 42 seconds. And I'm just going to fly this one around now. Position 2. Position two. Oops, completely missed there. Position two. Okay. Now, obviously, I've flown a one minute ten with the quad on the screen now. So it's going to ignore that one minute time, one minute ten time, because it, it knows that I've flown 39 seconds in the past so it knows I'm capable of a 39 second lap so it's going to ignore the fact that I did a 1 minute 10 however the other pilot has just improved their time so if we just uh, get that up you can see that they did a 42 so the first time around one pilot did a 39 second lap and the other pilot did a 1 minute 9 this time around the, sl the slower pilot's done a 42, so now there's only about three seconds difference between the two pilots in terms of their times. So if we now run another race, what we should see is that I'll only get delayed by about three seconds this time. Wow. There we go, only three seconds delay before it lets me go off the grid. So that's basically how handicap mode works, is that it continually looks at your fastest lap and then adjusts everyone based on the difference between the slowest player racing and all the other players. So everyone will get delayed by whatever the time difference is between them and the slowest player in the race. And every single race, it will update that handicap based on how quickly each pilot flew their race. So you are constantly getting adjustments so that people are delayed by the right amount with the idea being that if everyone flies their perfect race then you're all going to end up at the finish line at a, basically around the same time so the only way that you can win the race is by flying better than you flew your fastest lap so you're kind of flying against yourself it's a bit like leaderboard grinding in that you're kind of flying against yourself but there are other people in the room who you're racing against. So if you're the fastest player in the room, you know you're going to have to chase down the quads who are leaving the grid before you. If you're the slowest player in the room, then you know that the fast guys are going to be taking off after you and they're going to be trying to catch you. So you need to hold them off in order to win the race. And if you're the, you know, in the midfield, then you're going to have some guys in front of you to chase and you're going to have some guys behind you who are going to be chasing you down. And it creates a exciting race for everyone because you really don't know who's going to win who's going to fly their you know their best lap ever and get that finishing podium and it means that it doesn't matter what your ability is anymore everyone's in a race 
And okay, the fast guys are probably going to have to sit on the grid for a little while, but when they come off that grid, they know they've got a real job on their hands to chase down those slower pilots. Uh, and it really does create a, a kind of exciting and fun race for a mixed ability lobby of pilots. And that's the idea behind this, is to make it so that when you're in a lobby and you've got people who are miles apart in terms of ability, you can switch to this mode and actually have some really fun racing, even though you're nothing like each other in terms of your skills or how quickly you can get around the track. So uh, that's the basis of this mode. Um, as I said in the intro, if you've already got times on the leaderboard, then it will use that as your initial time for handicap. So if you've set an absolutely amazing time on the leaderboard, then handicap mode is going to hold you honest to that time because it knows you can fly that fast and it's never going to adjust you down from that time. However, if you come into a blank track like I did where there are no times on the leaderboard, then it's going to manage those times as you improve and as you get better on that track to bring everyone's handicaps in line with one another. Okay, so uh, that's handicap mode. I hope it makes sense and uh, I'll see you on the next video.